Welcome to Lori Farm. Look at this giant mess. So here's five common mistakes that people make when they first start out getting chickens. Number one, coops. Most people go to like their little feed store and they get this cutesy little coop that holds maybe one or two chickens. And however adorable it is, let's be honest, most people aren't gonna stop at one to two chickens. So it's not really gonna work out well for you. So you should think ahead. If you wanna start out with one to two chickens, that's great, but you're probably not gonna stay there. So building a really good coop that's gonna accommodate at least 10 chickens would be the first place to start. A couple of things to think about when you're buying a coop is depending on what climate you're in and what kind of weather you're gonna have, how is that coop gonna work in the winter? How is it gonna work in the summer? And how is it gonna work in the spring and fall? Those little ones just don't have the ability to keep the chickens warm and safe in Minnesota winters anyways. Maybe if you're down south, they're um, adequate, but not up here. It ties in with the second mistake is predator prevention. If you buy that cute little coop, it's probably not gonna keep any predators out. And that is unfortunately something, no matter where you live, you are gonna have natural predators to your chickens. So you're gonna wanna think about when you get that coop, how can you protect your flock? If they're gonna be free range, you wanna make sure that you have a rooster or um, a guard goose, or you're gonna wanna just make sure that they have a safe place to go hide if there's hawks or something. The third biggest mistake I see people make is not looking at what type of chicken they're getting. Number one, you want to think about what's the reason you're getting the chicken. Do you want it for eggs? Do you want it for meat? Do you want it for both? Or do you just want it as a pet? Do you want it as tick prevention for your yard? So you're going to want to think about that and then spend a little bit of time researching what kind of chicken is best for that. Buff Orpingtons are a really great dual purpose chicken. Leghorns are a really good um, egg production chicken. And then there's also egg colors. People get a little crazy when they want egg colors, so they get into the Easter eggers, the Americanas, and things like that. Those are all things to consider when you're getting your chicken, and then also the space you have for your chickens. I gotta get this chicken coop floor cleaned up because it's filled with wet manure, and we wanna keep this nice and clean because when there gets too much moisture, you can get things like frostbite, and other illnesses to chickens. So we need to get this cleaned out, put in some new bedding, make it nice and warm and fresh for them, especially with the coming cold. Now that we got all that stuff out of there, we can put down some fresh stuff, make it nice and clean and warm. If you're finding this information useful, hit the like button and subscribe. Another mistake I see a lot of people make is number four, which is what are you gonna do with your chickens because they are gonna be around for five to 10 years. I can't tell you how many times we've gotten free chickens from people who have started out, bought a small coop, their chickens outgrew it, and then by the time winter came, they didn't have a plan on what to do or how to take care of them. So then we've ended up with probably half our flock being free, which is awesome for us. And I definitely don't mind getting free healthy chickens from people, especially when we get them at laying age. But you do want to have a plan. You want to know how, how you're going to keep them safe and warm and what you're going to do with them if for some reason your coop doesn't end up working out. Have a backup plan. Have someone who's willing to... Um, Take them or plan ahead so you don't have a situation where you have to get rid of them. But also make sure that you decide what you're going to do with them once um, laying age is over and they're basically just a retired chicken because chickens aren't going to lay for 10 years straight. They get old, they get tired just like anything else. So are you going to cull them and have them for a dinner or are they just going to be your pet chicken? So you want to be able to think ahead before buying them. That's also going to um, help you decide how many you need or how many you want. And finally, number five. This one kind of makes me laugh. Sorry if you get offended. Chicken entertainment. I have seen some people buy their chickens some pretty interesting things. Swings, balls to play with, um, bridges, 
picnic tables all for their chicken. You don't need to be that complicated. Get them a place to perch, throw them a few scraps or extra food that you have, throw them a pumpkin or a squash that you've grown, but you do not need to invest in chicken toys. It's apparently a really good market, but you really, really don't need it. Nature in itself is all they need. Give them a nice run, let them free range, and throw them some scraps, and you'll have a bunch of happy little chickens running around producing you a ton of eggs. You don't need to invest in toys. It's not a dog, it's a chicken. Mistakes are easy to make, especially when you're trying something new. It's still worth trying though. We've made quite a few mistakes with chickens over the years, but that's how you learn. So thanks for watching. And if you like more videos like this, take a look here.